Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, y'all. Welcome to the Mental House with me, your host, Khadija. Um, I just want to give y'all an update with the Supreme Court ruling um, in terms of Comcast and Byron Allen. Well, the Supreme Court in a unanimous decision says that Byron Allen must meet higher threshold for racial bias suit against Comcast to survive. Well, you know, we knew the way that Donald Trump was stacking the courthouse, stacking the the course with all these judges, appointing all these conservative and these uh, race first um, people to the Supreme Court, then you already knew we weren't going to have a fair chance in seeing a positive outcome. Well, it says the Supreme Court sided with Comcast over Byron Allen in his racial discrimination case against the cable giant ruling that in order for his lawsuit to survive, he bears the burden of showing racial discrimination was the but-for clause in the cable giant's refusal to carry his entertainment channels. Injustices in a unanimous, ununanimous decision ruled that to prevail, a plaintiff must initially plead and ultimately prove that but-for race it would not have suffered the loss of a legally protected right, according to the opinion. The decision means that Allen's lawsuit will go back to the lower court where he can again try to prove his case, which he will have a much greater threshold to meet for his case to survive. At issue was whether Allen's $20 billion lawsuit should have survived beyond the pleading stage was merely proven that in Comcast's decision to deny carriage of his entertainment studio channels, his race, his race was a motivating factor or whether it was the sole cause, also known as the but-for in the legalese. The ruling was viewed as having a potentially significant impact on the future of racial discrimination cases. The Ninth Circuit Court ruled in favor of Allen last year, but in oral arguments, some of the justices find, found fault with the lower court's reasoning. The justices showed clear skepticism of issuing a definitive ruling, ruling that established a lower threshold in racial discrimination cases when a case is first filed and a higher one if it reaches a trial. Justice Neil Grusuch, who delivered the opinion for the court, wrote, Here a plaintiff bears the burden of showing that race was a but-for cause of its injury. And while the materials of the plaintiff can rely on to show causation may change as a lawsuit progresses from filing to judgment, the burden itself remains constant. The opinion was posted online only, as the justices have postponed in-person proceedings out of concerns over the spread of the coronavirus. So there you have it. There you have it. A blow to black people in media every, everywhere. Uh, a blow to black folks working jobs to everywhere. And in, in anywhere and everywhere. Because that but for clause, if you can't prove racial discrimination, then it didn't happen. Wow. And the decision was put out online because of the coronavirus. Shh. 
Oh well. Alright. I'll see y'all in the next video.